Hey guys, Megan here. Hidden Jim Homestead. Starting off the morning good, out at the barn. And I'm filling up the horse trough for them, giving them some clean water. Hey Preach! What you doing, boy? Hey Preacher. Preacher. Hey Jack Jack. Hey boy. And then we're gonna go check out the garden this morning and check on the plants. I had to pull up one of the cucumber plants the other day um, because it was just not doing good. It was drying up, turning like brown and yellow. So I think it was just time for it to go. The other one looked okay, like it was trying to grow back. So um, I left it. So we are also going to be planting some new seeds today. Um, for the fall and try to see if they work out with um you know the ants in the rice beds we're gonna try and just keep going and see how um everything goes so let's get into it okay so we're in the garden now it does look like the weeds are starting to come back even though i sprayed so i'm gonna have to um start uh moving rocks and putting down the landscaping fabric um, after I spray again. Now that it's getting cooler outside, I can start doing that, but it was just way too hot to start doing that. So, all right, we're in the... Our morning glories are starting to bloom. Very beautiful. They took forever to bloom. Supper plant. Look, I don't know if that means that there's going to be a bell pepper right there. It looks like it. Maybe the flowers have to dry out before they um, produce the green pepper. We'll see. Um, cucumber plant. Looks like it's doing okay. It looks like it's trying to grow back in places. Um, the other one was just not not very good at all so this is what it looks like after the orange oil drench in the bed so we did rip out the watermelon plant so we have all this space back here that we're going to fill with some seeds tomato plant doesn't look very good so we are going to fertilize today um, and then this little pepper plant over here uh, it, like i said it's blooming but it's not producing any bell peppers yet. So I'm just gonna leave it there and hope that it starts producing. Our zinnias are starting to sprout pretty good. Um, I do see some ants in here still, um, but I'm gonna try to not even worry about the ants right now and just keep planting and hopefully they won't take over. Like we got some broccoli sprouts going on. No beets yet. Oh wait, I see a little beet sprout right there. That's good. And I haven't seen any sprouts from the bush bean golden wax. So we might plant some more of those. Those look like the peas are sprouting but I don't know if something's eating them might be the ants I don't know this one doesn't look very good let's put some more dirt around it oh look we have some big bees that one looks okay Looks like our green bean plants are growing pretty well. I'm gonna kind of put some mulch and stuff around it so that will kind of keep the ants and stuff away, maybe. Just kind of putting the mulch around it to kind of 
hold it up better. So we have all this room right here that we're gonna plant some stuff in this area too, right here. Looks like we have a cauliflower sprout right there and another one right there. Looks like we have some little cabbage sprouts right there. Cabbage earliana. So we might plant some more of that. And then little gem lettuce right there. That might be another lettuce that kind of got moved down here somehow. Then we got all our little carrots, sprouts coming up. Lots of them right here, which I'm eventually going to have to go and thin through. And right there too. This is the long, em long emperor carrot. This is the Danvers 126 carrot. And the one that looks like it's doing the best is the tender sweet carrot. So that one looks good. Rosemary still looks good. Eggplant is looking a little better than it was. I've been having to spray it with neem oil because the bugs have just eaten the leaves and stuff like that. So I've been having to spray it with neem oil, but not spray where it's blossoming. And hopefully that doesn't make the pollinators not want to get on it. But <clears throat> looks a lot better than it did. All right, so let's go and find out what we're gonna plant. I did get some new seeds from Botanical Interest. I love watching Epic Gardening and they get their seeds from this place, Botanical Interest, and I went on their website and they had a lot of awesome seeds. So we're gonna go through here and find what we can plant right now. And they also give you like a little thank you lettuce Okay, so I did get a lot of different flower seeds um, that I will figure out about planting in a little bit, but I do want to plant these. Some more peas. Um, spinach. Let's try that. Broccoli. Cabbage. And lettuce. Roaming, so. All right, so I have pretty much just kind of tilled everything up and kind of evened it out. I need to also get all these rocks out. Whenever we weed eat, the rocks fly in here, so I have to be careful of that. Otherwise, the um, seeds won't grow because of that, so. And then we want our morning glories to go up the trellis, so I'm kind of just putting them up like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some more green beans right here. So, let me get that out. These are just the organic tender green garden bean. <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of just put it close to where the drip emitter is. Okay, so just make a hole. And I'm right now I'm just doing a lot of them uh, just to make sure that we get some growth. Just, I like to drop two in, just in case. I'm going to leave the holes until we fill all the holes, um, and then cover them, and then water them real good. That way, I don't know, 
looks like these ants are trying to get to it. So let's just go ahead and cover them up real good. Make sure there's no mulch. Might move this over a little bit. Now, I want to do some peas right here. So let's do these. I'm surprised the ants aren't attacking me right now. Okay, same thing with this one. Just gonna put two in each hole. Oops, dropped one. Cover those up. Make sure the ants don't get to them. All right, next one we're gonna do is this one, sugar snap peas, starting right here. be a little too far down. Let's try to put some dirt in there. There we go. Okay. All right, next one's this one, Cabbage, Copenhagen Market. Since right here is a little bit shaded, um, I'm just gonna put it right here and see if it grows. Um, all right, and the seeds are very, very small, so probably gonna put a few in there. Just to make sure they germinate. Now we're gonna try this romaine Vivian lettuce. All right, adding some more sugar and peas. Too many. Oops. Just going to stick that one right there. Hopefully those germinate after we water. All right, some more golden wax bush beans. Okay, we're gonna plant some more Waltham broccoli.
I don't really know what happened. Okay, so we're done planting that bed. We filled that one up completely. Um, and then I'll do this one tomorrow. So we're just gonna water those in really good and um, fertilize the eggplant, cucumber, tomato, and the pepper plants. And then we'll be done for today. And then tomorrow we'll come back and um, we will plant more in this bed. Glories. So beautiful. I'm so happy that they're actually blooming now. I thought they were never gonna bloom. It's a weird place to have them, but so beautiful. I also need to come back in here and check the um, drip irrigation. Make sure it's not clogged. Let's see here. Okay, we're gonna water in our seedlings that we just planted over here really well. <clears throat> the peas. Green beans. Now we're going to fertilize the plants. Okay, so what I use for my plants is this. You have to shake it really well. Veggie and tomato, plant food. Um, it's 423. And it says mix four tablespoons um, with a gallon of water. So that's what this is two gallons, so we'll put eight tablespoons. All right, so we got that in there. We're just going to mix this really good. I should have used my other one, but oh well. I was in a hurry. Okay, so we're going to go for it. Oh, I see. And you just pretty much drench it pretty good with it. This is our pepper plant. Cucumber which needs it very badly. You know. Like I said, just drench it really good. Another pepper plant. Eggplant over here. And the rosemary. guys so we'll just let this kind of soak in let the plants eat it up and tomorrow we will be back in this bed and planting some more seeds um, hopefully to get a lot of a lot more germination out of it um, if you like this channel please 
um, like and subscribe so you can see updates and new videos. It would be greatly appreciated, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.